Kathy by Design, and I'm just popping in very quickly to share a little walkthrough video of this Let It Be folio that I created for the Really Reasonable Ribbon June 2020 blog hop. I've used the ribbons in the Ribbon Club collection. Here's this pretty green plaid, and then I've layered the brown over the the yellow over the brown down here to create a border. This is a slim line, sort of a modified slim line. It is four and a half by eight and a half. And I've fussy cut from the 12 by 12 paper, this large sunflower, and then layered in some Renee Bouquets, this beehive, these beautiful lemon bees, her uh, beehive background and then filled that in. These are actually mustard seeds, so don't forget to check your kitchen. There's some cool stuff there. These are little buttons I had in my stash and a few little rhinestones. I've topped this with some burlap, ivory burlap string, and these are little birdie flowers. Then I've used this Tim Holtz clip to hold everything closed, and this opens out like this. So over here on the short side, basically what I did was I just scored my paper. I want to make sure I'm telling you the right dimensions here. Yes, I scored my paper at four and a half and nine. So this was an eight and a half by 11. So I scored at four and a half and nine. And then I had this two inch flap left that I folded over. And I've done some fun things with this. This is from the uh, die cuts that come that you can order with the Let It Be. And I just put my glue along this side here and to here, and you'll see why. And then up here, this is another little die cut that I decorated this flap up with. So let me remove, actually it goes like this. Then it flips open. So you can see how I turned this element into a pocket by putting the adhesive just here, here, and here. That's a really fun thing. It creates like, I call these sidecars. And then I just decorated this panel. Actually, let me fold this open. I cut this panel to a width. A five and a quarter. This is the piece, the other piece from the front cover. And you can see I've just adhered this over this little two inch flap and then folded it scored it and folded it to make a little flap element. Then in here, I took this strip of images from the eight by eight and I scored in between them and then put the fold on the fold of my flap to make this little element here. So that's kind of a fun thing to do too. And then I just hold this flap closed with a little paper clip. Then over here in the center, this is a fun element. I cut my paper to a height of 12 inches and to a width of four, and then scored it to make this fun flip up and down page. So this is magnetized. Here is one of the large journal cards and just some stickers from the sticker sheet. Room for a photo here, room for a photo there, and then of course, these four by threes here. Little chipboard charm again. The magnet is kind of hidden back inside there, so that works. Then over here, I cut my paper to a width of eight inches and scored it at four. Use some more of these journal cards, and then this is a little pop-up element. So I just made a little Z-fold. Basically, this is eight inches by four, and I scored it at every two, and then just glued you can see this is this is glued down. This one I created a little hinge behind it so that the pop-up element would move freely. So you can kind of see that. And then just decorated this up with stickers, cut aparts, fussy cuts, and all of that. So then this closes like this, this closes like this, this closes like this, and this little clip holds everything together. So kind of a fun little project. I love this collection and it's a great uh, match for the Really Reasonable Ribbon Club collection in June. So I thought you might like to see that. That's really it. Short and sweet. And um, I'm going to go get my craft on. Bye.